hello my lovely family how are you all doing i hope you're doing fine otherwise i am doing just perfect it's a bit cold yeah but i'm fine cloudy it rained the whole night actually if i notice today i have my jacket on i'm pretty sure you've never seen me probably doing a jacket but today i have it that's an indication it's really really cold it has been covered all over otherwise guys um today we're in the kitchen again we're going to do something um tasty we're going to do a traditional meal so i'm going to blend a bit yeah i'm going to add in something which is not very very tradi traditional so it's going to make a very beautiful combo otherwise welcome back to the channel and thank you very much for sharing for subscribing for the love guys you touch my heart with every single comment that you throw in the comment section guys i love you all so first we have to pluck off the leaves from the stem like this we don't eat this yeah we only eat this so this is the good thing and this is definitely trash <laughs> so guys here we are we are done plucking the leaves off the stem next we are going to wash it a bit because i told you it's a rainy season here so there's a way that uh when these things are in the garden because they don't grow tall there's a way that the soil splashes back onto it and when you pluck them off the garden like this they say they be having soil particles and when you're eating you keep biting them so the only way to avoid that is to wash it with enough water and leave the water to drain off a bit before we can start cutting them so guys let's wash this thing <laughs> Fortunately, the sun is not shining, so I'll just leave it here to drain a bit before I can cut it, guys. Let me just place it here. So, guys, our fire is ready. And we are going to start cooking already so let me put the water which we are going to use for cooking it doesn't have to be very much so that's the water we are going to use for cooking it and there is something that we add into that water i don't know if it's called i don't know if magadi is the english name this is called magadi guys and this is what we use for cooking it softens the vegetable really well it makes it cook really soft alternatively there is also this liquid one which is made um with um from ashes we burnt we burnt uh like uh, roots oh can i say roots or oh, stems of like this very vegetable which i just plucked the ball itself you can burn on the ashes you drip water to it and it gives you this it can also work as magadi for now i'm going to use this particular one the bagadi itself so i'm going to add this into the soup as it boils we are going to leave it there to boil i'll be cutting the vegetable we left it here to drain a bit remember so let us cut it guys So 
so guys we have to cut this thing into pieces uh, first of all it makes it cook better it cooks really faster when it's into pieces secondly um we don't eat them like when they are whole leaves eh? they don't make nice soup because at the end of it you're going to either mix with either paste or depending on the way you're cooking like this particular one we are going to mix it with eggs so we have to make them small particles so it can mix well with the eggs Guys, our water is ready. We have to add this. And now let's give it time because it has to boil as it cooks, yeah? So as it keeps boiling there, we are going to slice the onions and the tomatoes that we are going to use for frying. It's not advisable to cover this thing meanwhile because it pours out. When it starts boiling, there's where it comes up and it pours. So it's not very good to cover it. Let's, going to, let's keep it open like that as we do the cutting, guys. soon we are going to need them
mayonnaise we are going to add the tomatoes and the green pepper mix together I prefer it also much because what we are going to cook has no soup so the soup from the um, the juice from the tomatoes gives it that kind of you know it makes it really tasty because we are not we are, we are not going to have any soup in this uh there is i've noticed if i add salt onto the tomatoes it gets ready faster i don't know if it works for you as well or i don't know if it's just my mindset attached to that guys let me know in the comment section if it really works for you as well or please if you didn't know that try it out and let me know if it really works for you as well because for me i have noticed when you add salt after yeah it gets ready really fast right after the tomatoes so guys let's wait for our tomatoes to get ready and we're going to we're going to wait for it to get ready until it is smashed like properly ready yeah we don't need them in pieces like this so let's give it some minutes and yeah, we can cover and wait a bit so guys wow look at how it's looking very very colorful so i think we are ready to add the vegetable and like i told you we are going to cook it without soup you cannot add soup into this sauce so we are going to sieve it off so the water is actually down and then this here is pure purely just the vegetable only so we are going to add this now into our saucepan here. Let's add just before we add, guys. Let's test if the salt is okay. Perfect. Oh my god, let's add the eggs. And now the thing is constant stirring because you know eggs will get stuck at the bottom of the saucepan so here i'll need to constantly stir it until the eggs are actually ready mix it with cold water so that can dissolve well before I add it to the sauce here
our sauce is actually ready as you can see looks yummy right yeah i hope um anyway that is if you have this if you have this kind try it out you're definitely going to love this it's very easy to cook like you saw and it makes a very delicious sauce yes you can eat it as sauce itself or even um side dish yeah personally i prefer this for sauce itself like i love these vegetables so much for me otherwise guys thanks a lot for watching this has been a great time with you thank you for watching it till um from the beginning till now uh, it shows me how much you love me and i appreciate it so much till the very next one guys